during the uh, Vanguard pass, we did hear a call from the crew. Uh, they indicated that they had noticed the problem of temperatures rising on the spacecraft, uh, particularly in the sleeping compartments. And that uh, essentially confirms what was believed by the people in the Huntsville Operations Support Center and those in Mar and the Johnson Space Center. We were uh, re reviewing the material. Uh, apparently, there are several sensors which had showed a substantial increase in temperature. Temperatures inside did not increase very much because of the relatively quick action of the crew in moving the sail to a new position. But there were increases in the sleeping compartment and in the experimental compartment ceiling temperatures of about 2 to 3 degrees. The temperature reading now in the sleep compartment is about 80.8 .8 degrees as of the Vanguard Pass. In the experimental compartment, there are readings of 82.7 and 83.3 .3 degrees. Now, those, of course, do not reflect atmospheric temperatures in the entire workshop, but it does indicate that there were some temperature increases in those transducers of the ceiling and walls. Those were generally the highest reading temperatures inside the workshop uh, in previous periods during the heat, uh, high heat periods. Uh, the problem apparently occurred because of the movement of the parasol to approximately 25 degrees counterclockwise rotation. And the crew indicated that they thought they'd overshot the mark originally. They had intended to go 